Here we go. Hey, Ryan. Yes, I'm actually alive. Surprising. Oh shoot, I forgot. Every single time. You know, every time. This is how every, every, every time. I can't speak. This is how every stream starts. I have to load my mapping. At this ungodly hour? Yes, well. Also, you should go to sleep well. I think that's a good idea. That's not bad. It's only like 1am? Yeah, 1am is a good time to sleep in my opinion. Skill issue? Yeah. This is a bit awkward to practice, isn't it? Hey Aaron, yes, nice to see you again. Uh, it's been pretty good for me. I hope it's, I hope you've been well. Hope I find this enjoyable. You've revealed this from forever ago, but it was not fun. Here we go. Oh, well, we'll see. It does seem a bit Here we go. rough. I hope I didn't rebuild it wrong. Oh, that would suck. Here we go. You have to sit on the edge for that one. Yes, it's millions of Mario. Oh my god. I'm alive. That's rough. Also, am I sick or something? I don't think so. Here we go. Maybe a little bit. Here we go. Do this Here we part. go. You are? You started college about a month ago? Oh, nice. Here we go. That's always a cool thing. Here we go. Oh, I can't really prank. Is that a little different? Maybe some mic stuff? I don't know. It's not big enough a difference for me to do anything about it. You were actually going to sleep though? I distracted you from the notification. Oh, so now you're blaming me for you not sleeping. I see how it is. Two L's in well. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Two L's make a W, but then the two W's cancel out, so you're just left with nothing, just an I. <laughs> Okay. 
I guess you're I now. I'll make sure to call you I. That's what you find Here without the go. ice, but then there's ice, so I can't do anything about it. Here we go. Oh, that is that is weird. Here we go. Nice. I need to do it. <laughs> You could do this whole part again? Wow. I should put an on off switch over here. Give me the hit. Here we go. Maybe more like right here. Are you such a silly guy? Yeah. He is. Here we go. And then this part. Oh god. You haven't played Mario Maker in so long? Here I play it a lot. Maybe a little too much. But it's really fun. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, that's pretty easy, actually. Oops. Fun level, right? Yeah, totally. The whole beginning is agonizing, the past the door is so easy. I see. Good luck? Thanks for the good luck, fans. Created, but didn't like enough to play, so you only did Cataclysmic. Fair. The level's fun. Here I really like go. that one. Remember thinking about all of these they could add to the game and then it got three updates? Yeah. They go. quit so early, it's so sad. There could have been so much more. Part looks uh, pretty rough. Here we go. You last played yesterday? I played it. Maybe it was yesterday. <laughs> Probably was yesterday. You played the day, unfortunately. Days. Here we go. You haven't played MM2 in over a month. Wow. Lucky you. Here we go. This part is yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Runoffs. Yeah, runoffs. Jamio does like his runoffs. Oops, that exists. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, that's not actually that hard. Oh god. What is the timing for this? <laughs> We're all gonna have three L's. <laughs> Here we go. You don't know why you're whacking up to play Runoff Mastery? 
But you weren't as wacky as me, who went back into that level, played a second time, just so I could beat it without pausing. <laughs> Practice is I have to wait for the entire boo cycle to go around. Oh, that's just wonderful. What the hell is this? You're way too busy to consider playing MM2? I'm way too busy playing Splatoon 3 to bother playing MM2. Exact monster time is one of Shamao's MM1 levels, but it's a lot easier because I'm alone. Yeah. The other day you played every one frame level and reminded you of how fun precision used to be. I have played exactly two one frame levels. Um, his team precision level and his uh, trump squad level. That's it. Here we go. This is so weird. I guess it's kind of easy. It's like it's not free. It's like it's not hard either. I don't know. What's even the hardest part of the stage? Maybe like this section. It's not really that bad. Level get popular. Play base suck. <laughs> yeah. Or player base. Triple cycle? Yeah. Fun. Yeah, when it all gets popular, the clear rate tends to drop pretty low. Here we go! This is the second part. I mean, I don't really have to practice this part. This Pogu thing is so weird. I don't like it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The rates are so low in this game anyway, because of how many more people own a Switch than the Wii U. A 0.5 in this game is like a 2% MM1. Yeah, that is true, actually. More people, more levels being played. I'm just casually one-shotting a lot of the level. Where did, where did that run even start? I don't remember. Was it here? I think it might have started here. But I literally did all of that. And then died to the runoffs. Here we go! Here we go! 
The real question how does the Shamia manage to put a TA section on its levels? It's not even a it's not a TA section. I'm calling this a TA section? Or this? This just requires you to do it first try. And then this is like a weird funky thing. And it's now hard. I wouldn't call either of those sections TA. Wow, that really is not very hard. The timing and attacks you? Oh, I see. It's a timer. Attack. We got it. I missed it. I missed the cycle. That's funny. Everyone loves missing a cycle. Having to wait like 20 more seconds just to hit it again. Oh my god. This is the worst timing ever. Why did you make this? Disgusting timing. What the hit? How did that hit the eggs? Launcher part's a corner jump? It's not hard, and it's not even the main part of the level. Whatever, I, I'll just go for the level now. Feel pretty good about that. <laughs> really, it's the type of guy to complain about getting the axe. True. I didn't play well. I got enter ID. If only I had a level to play that I'd already started that I didn't have to wait out any cycles. Uh, I could play that level, or I could just not play the level. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna one-shot this- never mind, I'm gonna two-shot this level. Who doesn't love waiting? Heck. Someone make Melissa Chamber 9 times 10? That's not even possible to make. How do you replicate the axe? Heck. Gator Gloom fan for life. <laughs> My heart belongs to Gator Gloom. Banger level. Rack is one of like four good creators in the game. He makes hard levels. I can't beat them all. The axe point is a cloud with a door on top of it. Well, that's just easier than hitting the axe. I'm trying to think of other good creators, you can only think of Hoagie. Hoagie is really good. Although, I don't think I've played a single Hoagie level. No, that's a lie. I got one of his levels in Endless. That's the only Hoagie level I've played. The other three are Fritzef, Fritzef 2, and Ryuko. Thanks. Oh, hey, Sant.
Pokey's very impressive, yeah. It's amazing how cool his levels are. Doing? I'm doing pretty good. I was playing Splatoon 3 earlier. Game is really good. Can confirm. How can Hoagie be in top 4 or top 4 is Brad Fritzet for Tsutsu Rukar? Have you ever heard of a joke? Grinding Grievous Catlow for hours way back when you're really proud of that clearing no reflection of it anymore. I remember clearing that level. I don't remember how long it took, but I don't think it was over an hour. I'm pretty proud of that clear. Look, it was a good clear. I think it took me about an hour, maybe a little less, maybe a little more around that range. You played Ryu's cat levels a young boy and couldn't beat it because he didn't know you could climb on semi-solid. You came back to it last week and beat in five minutes. <laughs> Sounds about right. I shouldn't- I should not be going for speed. I think it was an hour or two for you, not totally sure. Yeah, I don't remember spending terribly long on the level. Although I do remember playing in Super World, and then thinking that if you game over, do you have to restart from the beginning? Nope. <laughs> I never beat the Super World because I thought that, and I was at the castle. Um, and then he made a second Super World, and replaced it, so... I never got to finish it. <laughs> Yay, that terrible timing. <laughs> Whose world? Ryu's world. Ryu car. Yep, Ryu had a super world, alright. I was at the final level. Rack puzzle win? When someone makes a breakthrough of how the hell you get past the left muncher. Without throwing a pal. Well, if you can figure out how to get past the left muncher without throwing a pow, then um, you get something, a cookie, maybe mod. No, not mod, because the diamond is cooler, but I'll give you a cool roll. Yeah, breast removing fan club.
I don't think it uses any glitches. It'd be weird if it did. Actually, it wouldn't be weird, but I don't think it does. Uh oh, I lost. <laughs> Thing is, I have to do this muncher section twice. For whatever reason. Why? Why do I have to do it twice? I don't want to do it twice, I want to do it just once. It gets a tad wacky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The level does get a tad wacky. Really quite strange. Like, we- in the level, we figured out that if you drop a beetle at the right time, through a claw, it'll just go right through the claw. Like, if you drop it and then it, like, a mid-wake up, I think, it'll just go straight through the claw. It's really weird. I don't know if it's useful, but it's a thing you can do. Beetle claw drop consistency x100. It's free. It's it's really free. Well, 100 times would be rough. <laughs> I know about those clear videos. I don't know how much that helped though. I already know you make really weird puzzles. And I've also already figured out most of it with Beasley. We've done most of the level, it's just like one part we can't do. Stupid left muncher. Remove that guy and boom, we can beat it probably. The closest thing is that you can use the dry bone shell to bump up the muncher really easily. So that's it. And you can't get the dry bone shell without first removing the muncher, so it's useless. Just remove the rust? Oh yeah. It is the name of the Lola. You just, if you do that, you win. It'd be fun if someone you found a clip that lets you clip through the semi-solid and then just touch the axe. <laughs> That'd be really funny. sleep now? You'll dream up the solution? Alright, alright. Sounds good. You better come back tomorrow with the exact solution to the puzzle. Or else you're banned. Impossible. You can't corner boost on the first one because you have too much speed.
or not. I just had to slide a little more, then I got it. Really? Come on. I... <laughs> I figured out the strats for the, the corner clipping part. Corner boost, whatever. Bruh, <laughs> come on. I hate that I have to wait forever. Um. I missed the cycle. And getting the cycle is hard as well, so basically I'm just waiting the cycle every time. The Mutchers could have been on the other side, so that if I were to get this saw thing first try, I don't have to wait as long. Or get a really hard first cycle. Why you chose not to play this there is egregious. I've played worse. I've played much worse. Come on, this stupid saw timing. Oh my god. It's so brutal because of the ice. If there was no ice, it wouldn't be as bad. Please, no! Oh, damn it. We're so close to the second half. And then I get both of them on the next attempt. Wonderful. Always happen. Why am I playing this? Yep, it's in the first 1000 TP levels. And I want to beat them all. This is cool. No one's done it before. Because these seven souls, uh, Wrath of Leviathan and Big Birdo is a feel. Yep, there's there's four left. This level, Path to Sandy, Hyrule Warriors, and Pokemon Journeys. I'm gonna beat them all. Promise is a promise. I'm dead, yeah. I why did I do that? <laughs> I 
Have I done switch to end in brackets? Nope. Because switch to end is a lot of level. It is a lot of level. Trust me, it is a lot. It is over half of the level. You don't drop down and the end is right there, nope. There is quite a bit left. Think you're too early? Hmm. What do you mean by too early, Zeno? <laughs> Usually get here and I clear the level, but you see I've only online for 30 minutes. Yeah, it happens. I don't always clear the level in 30 minutes. I guess I could do like the door to the end pra in practice. Because there's some level there. Or maybe like a good another good chunk of the level or whatever. I don't know. I feel like it's unnecessary though. The thing is, the level is actually millions group because it's long. It's not that long. But the record's only a minute. It's not that long. I played longer levels. I played a vast variety of levels. Nope, nope, nope. No, come on, how did that die? I played Free Fried, yep, that level is bad. It was a bad level. That's your point too early, you should come in like three to four hours, say hi, I get to clear and the mute continues. It really is funny how many times you've joined and then I instantly clear the level. It is bad, but that she's made it better is kind of fun for you. It was not fun for me when I nied like three times. Consider just quitting the level. But I didn't quit, and I beat it, so there you go. I hardly quit on levels. No, it's not a thing for me to do. It's been at least like three times? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you only died in the last line once? Yeah, that was not me. I died on the last line a lot of times, and it was very sad. And depressing. Kind of a rip. You're okay with admitting you're more fun because of your luck? Yeah. That's exactly why you're more fun. Why am I ducking? To slow myself down. I can't corner boost in that 
if I'm too fast, so I slow myself down by ducking. It lets me get it more often. I think, actually, you might be able to corner boost there, but I think it's one frame. It probably is one frame. If I had to guess, if you didn't duck to slow down. This stupid photo thing. It's like, it's just luck. The photo thing is luck. I've done all parts simply already and I'm going to be clear. Yep, I practiced the level and I've done every single part. The start is definitely the harder portion, though. A good chunk of the bottom section is really pretty easy. There's a part where you have to do runoffs really fast, and that's probably the hardest part of the second section. I say second section, but like, it's like lower half, but... Really. I can still get the corn boost and then die. So it's... Most of this is definitely just gonna be trying to get that Potaboo thing. And also the saw timing. I, I pressed duck. I pr I did. I swear to God, I did. Uh, it's almost like I know exactly what to practice. I mean, I could practice them, but they're also both just kind of luck. A little bit. There's only so much you can practice before it just comes down to luck.
no swearing your mama here? Okay, sorry Ryan. Be more considerate. And that point is like a lot of hours. I'm not gonna spend a lot of hours. How much is a lot of hours? Exactly. Thousands? I would never spend that long on the level. Been 20 minutes practicing the whole level? Yeah, I did. I didn't feel like I needed to practice it much more. I think I can pretty confidently do most of the stuff in the level. No, are you kidding me? I died to the saw thing. What if I started playing Brayden's level? I said I'd never give up. Brayden's level's a different story because there's no way I would ever be able to beat that level ever. So I wouldn't play it to begin with. You think I could beat it? Yeah, maybe if I spent the rest of my life playing that level and nothing else. Def could beat it? If I spent way longer than I wanted to, yeah. It would be any level, but that's just not a level I'd ever want to play. Just because it's just that difficult. I just don't want to play it like that. This would take over a thousand hours. Yeah, that's not the amount of time I want to spend on one level. When I could just be playing a bunch of other levels that don't take that long. I definitely more enjoyment playing multiple levels instead of just the same one level. Raiden's almost beat it heaps times already. Yeah, but then he dies and he buffs the level. Therefore making it harder for him to beat it. He probably could have beat it already if he didn't buff the level. Big mistake. Why would you ever buff the level? Because it's funny? I guess, but then you're just making it so that it takes yourself longer. And then makes it so more people do not want to play the level. Look at that. Does it, does it improve conditions for anybody? No. Ice, ice, please. 
This saw, this saw is a nightmare. I... Oh my god, I... S okay, hold on, hold on. The journey is more important than the end goal? I guess, but like, if the journey takes 2,000 hours, and you're dying at the end just to make your journey take even longer, I don't know if that's worth it. Here we go! You spent longer on that level than it takes to beat, like, Fire Emblem 3 houses, like, a hundred times. Here we go! I just need to duck earlier. Here we go! Or just go later, the ducky makes it more Here generous. He's entertained thousands of people playing it. I guess that's true. For him, it's worth it. He's providing entertainment. And I, I guess he's enjoying it. If he's enjoying it, it's okay. It's not my problem. Here we go. Like, for me, that's nothing. Like, I wouldn't be getting anything. And I wouldn't be enjoying the level. So the thing is, would I rather be playing something I enjoy Here we go. to entertain less folk, or entertain more folk by playing something I really do not enjoy? Here we go. Plus, I'm confused how he even got that many viewers seeing as he doesn't even use a microphone. It's just Here impressive, honestly, I'm impressed how many viewers he got by not using a microphone. Like, I'd get pretty bored. If it were me, I tend to not watch streams that go. have no microphone. Because it's just kind of boring. The commentary is most of the thing for me. Here we go. I feel like I understand the saw better and the boo a lot better as well. Try that again. He's attempting possibly the greatest thing in gaming history that's gonna get views? I guess so. Got the title of Hardest Mario Maker Love and Spress the Watch. Sometimes I have it on the background. I mean, fair. But it's just not the thing I would enjoy doing at all. Sure, I mean, it's impressive, but it, would it be fun for me? No. I don't know about greatest feat, but it must time consuming thing for anyone to recreate. <laughs> I'd be impressed if you managed to recreate that level with zero flaws. <laughs> it is absolutely nuts. Look okay, at practice paying off instantly. Okay. Fine, Brag. Practice did help that time. It's also a very old level, people who first served it six years ago versus six days ago can still enjoy watching grind the level today. I mean, true.
Are we create level meant to clear? Either way, both are impressive. <laughs> In a sense, both are impressive to you. Although clearing the levels are obviously more impressive. Okay, good good run though. That was pretty good. If I made it past the runoff section, and I could have beat it, maybe. In SMM1, you can download the levels and then you recreate. Yeah, that's true. But if someone chose to recreate it instead, I'd be impressed. I think there might be other people out there that could potentially beat it much faster. Probably. There always is. But I don't know if anyone would have as much dedication to the level as Brayden does. Six years or whatever, however long you spend on it, that is a, a lot of time. Nor is basically GG. I don't know. I'll probably still screw it up though. <laughs> like like nine or something. Oh, there's a prediction. We'll stream and one shot everything after the door. That's a good prediction. It could go either way. I guess if people choose to predict, because it's currently sat at zero. You believe? Let's hope you're right, Zeno. Be pretty sweet to one shot all that. It's not very hard, but it'd still be pretty sweet. Forgot there's not many people here. Yeah, there's never very many people here. We're gonna get like maybe 10 10. Can't she predict it, Ryan? Was she able to do that? Or can you not because you made it? I could that could have won. That could have made it to the door. It could have. You can make a tiny mistake and still make it. They still you gotta be fast. It's rough. It, it's rough for sure. Kinda doubt anyone would clear it. 
Maybe some like King Boo goes after and clearing like 500 hours. Yeah, it's if I guess when Brayden clears it, it's probably never gonna get another clear ever. Box me, Mr. Laser Noodle voted seven. What the hell? Is that not a seven? Hell no. What the hell? Um, no. I voted 5.5. I thought that was pretty fair. Maybe six, maybe. But not. What the hell? <laughs> I don't even remember how long that level took me. I don't remember, it was for like 20 minutes, I think. It didn't feel that bad. I mean, there's just kind of some weird claw stuff, and the end is... can be kind of weird, but it's not that bad. Most of it is very consistent, and not quite that hard. Maybe it's... I, honestly, I don't remember. I played it, I rated it, then it left my mind. I didn't think about it again. We are the believers. We stand again, nothing unleashes everything. <laughs> wait. Yo. Wait, two people voted of ten? Alright. You guys, you're risking everything on the line. <laughs> Let's go. I'll do it for the believers. You guys... <laughs> it's funny because you don't even get anything if you win. You just get like, I don't know, bragging rights? It's going off time though, so maybe... We're both bad. Time? He could take like 25 hours on level and then like 2 hours on a different one. Come on. That's like the least consistent thing you could rate based on. That's unfortunate. Troop could probably be higher though you play sometime this week. Okay. Where even is that channel? I gotta find it. Where is it? Hold on. Give me a second. I wanna see if I said anything. Nope. Okay, I found it. All I said was sheesh. That's tough. I think that accurately sums up the level. Yep, sheesh, that's tough. And I rated it 5.5. It's a fun level. That level's really fun. Really well designed.
<laughs> no. Why? I could take that part safer as well. There is a safer strat, but it is faster just to slide the whole way. Second half practice meow. I haven't done 40 minutes, so I guess I could. I've only died there like a couple times because I've only made it there a couple times. And I guess I could. It's also not the hard part of the level, so I feel less. Um. So I I don't know what. I, can't, I forgot the word I was looking for. Maybe less likely, less motivated? Something along those lines to play, um, to practice the second section, second half. Bottom half, whatever. Make the believers proud, practice? Practice would make believers proud, because then I can probably beat it more likely. I mean, like, it's not that hard. Second half is pretty easy, apart from the runoff section. It's, like, the only hard part. Let's see. No, what? We got, like, these burner parts, not that hard. This muncher thing, I could die to the muncher. I maybe could die to this. That's about it. Maybe the knife, I choke it down. I could play this safe. I'm just doing. Is that even? Is that even safe? Maybe I just want to not do it. Maybe I, maybe I just do this. Like I learned. Not like that risky. I'm just gonna jump go. later. Yeah, that's it. Just jump later. This part is so rough. I hate how hard this part is compared to literally the rest of this this bottom half. Everything else is so easy compared to this one part. It's so dumb. All easy after- It is all easy after excluding this one part. Plus, the, mo the part I was talking about most was after the door section. Here we go. I think I'm dead. Here we go. Ugh. Here we go. I was dead there. It's like one frame. 
Or at least it feels that way. Just slip around these corners. It's... Ugh. Really, honestly, it could take forever to get this part a single time in a run, or I could just get it like first try. The next time I get there. That didn't make it? Wow, you really can't make a mistake, I guess. At least if I fail the first one, I get a retry. I'm tempted to just the pause buffer this. Is this why the level sucks so much? Because, like, the hardest part of the level is like, this. Did the one way really have to be there? I mean, it'd be pretty sweet if I could just retry if I was fast enough getting back. Yeah, how is that not it? What? Or it could spend like five minutes right now, get confident, get a no problem, and run. This this will always be a problem because it's just that hard. I can practice it a lot, and I'll never get it consistently because it's just that hard. Wow, was I so fast there that I hit the Podibu when I fell down? That is pretty dumb. There we go, yay! I mean, look at this. Come on, come on. Everything after the door is, like, not even that bad. There we go. Literally just one shot everything there. Let's do it again, why not? Here we go. Okay, that was lucky. Here we go. <laughs> I apologize to all believers if I die to these burners. Because that is embarrassing. I swear they don't last so long. Oh wow, that is actually kind of weird. Why did I do that? Here we go. I'll try to make believers proud. Well, I probably not, but I'll try. That's all that matters. make you proud you'll literally gain 10 points for me um there's a problem with that ryan no one is doubting me there's literally no doubters so you either don't gain anything or you lose everything it's the best game right Down with 10 points of betting? Oh, okay, I see, I see. <laughs> I see how it is. so bad at burn timings right now. Well, 
both of the burger timings are pretty lenient. I keep messing them up somehow. Nice. Uh Here we go. Party keeps late? On the photo booth? Doesn't really matter. If I mess up at all, Here I'm just dead. As long as I don't start too late though, it's fine. Go. I just gotta be like decently fast. But I can be too fast and hit the podium. I'm pretty sure this will happen that go. one run. I better not die to that spike. Yeah, wow, that is really easy. For a moment. Did this burn slime with the Pokemon on a track? This? Well, there's a donut here, so it doesn't even matter. You have to wait for the donut, regardless. Plus, the Podoboos are moving much faster than the burner, so it's like never gonna line up. I did not like the corpse. I only played the corpse. You drop the donut any time? I know. What does it matter? <laughs> I'm gonna wait for something regardless. You're not talking about waiting, you're talking about using the Podibus as a timing assist. How so? Why is this Podibus killing me? Come on. I should stop dying to that podium so I can actually get some good runs. If they are in sync with the burners, then this sh could give me a visual cue. I guess I can go through the door and then look at the podiboos. Time it. But the timing isn't that strict, so it's not like I need some other source to help me time it. I just have to be not bad. I'll probably get it. Wow, that was a horrible timing.
What the hell? How do I keep dying to his winged potato? Time is not that hard. that time tons of times but now apparently only now it's a problem what am I doing wrong <laughs> I don't have to do that part twice. I only have to do the thwomp thingy twice. As I as as well as the muncher thing. Can't forget. Only a couple things I have to do twice. Thankfully not like most of the section. That meow is benevolent in a way. Oh, come on. It's like the worst way to die. Oh, well. survive that? Please, please, why? Come on, what did they even do wrong? I got the corner boost, but I died still somehow. Right, it's a time attack level reject. Come on, they accepted corner boost demo back in the day. Of course, they would accept this. Plus, it's mostly precision anyway. Corner boost demo is not precision, it straight up is not. Uh, but this at least is, so this is um, it's fine. I would accept this in current day. I would not accept Cornbus Demo current day, because the level straight up not precision.
I think everyone agrees on that. Yeah. But for demo is just not precision. And this part sucks. Everyone can agree on that too. thinks that that part doesn't suck, they're lying to themselves. So much so that back in 2020, there's a legit poll on whether or not the shit from Move It, way after it was already accepted. <laughs> I remember that. I think I voted yes, but I can't remember. I guess I can scroll back up and see. I press jump. Come on. Come on now. Ooh. I don't have a vote on it. I scroll up and I don't have a vote on it. Huh. Maybe I just didn't vote. I don't remember. It was wild. The wild wild west in old TP. Needed a new sheriff. <laughs> and there's also that Fritz F level that got removed. <laughs> Although I'm glad that rail level is removed, it was so bad. It's literally just a hidden block on a track. You can't beat the level unless you know that there's a hidden block on a track. What the hell kind of level design is that? How was that accepted? It's not precision, it's a dev exit. So bad. Come on, how do I die in that jump? It's not even a hard jump, I'm just bad at it, I guess. Oh yeah, you're a Nemia level? God, I love that level so much, it's so funny. <laughs> Run for 20 seconds and then complete an easy one screen. It's the best idea for a level for Anemia. <laughs> That level definitely would have been rejected if I didn't accept it first. <laughs> That's the best part, honestly. It should have been rejected, but it's not because of me. Yeah, no problem, Ryan. I got you.
Ah, uh, yep, this walk-off, run-off section. The epitome of dumb and stupid sections. Come on, this would be really fun if that section should did not exist. But now I just have to play the level and then hope I get this dumb section to play more fun level. I don't know why I can't do this Pokemon timing like ever. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm kind of- I'm getting used to the, the visual cue though. Like kind of where it is on the track to do the timing. And of course I'm dead, even though I got the first corner boost. The first corner boost like hardly ever matters. You can get the first corner boost like probably half the time and still die. Why did I choose this? Why did I choose when I got sick to stream again? I've been sick for like two weeks. I'm like barely sick anymore. sound different like I'm sick okay maybe because it's I like, maybe that's because I am a little bit I got in Florida of all places to get a cold Florida Although, we suspect that that's because you go inside and outside a lot in Florida, especially in the theme park. So, like, you're going into air conditioning and then just humid, hot weather over and over again, and then body just breaks down. Yoshi got COVID in Florida like 40 times? Bro lives in Florida? Yeah, okay. Maybe that's why? <laughs> Just lives there? Of course they're gonna get COVID in Florida. They don't believe in masks. I, go to this I went to Universal. What? 
Is it going in and out of AC enough because there's around thousands of other people? It could be either, but I don't believe it was because of the people. There was not a cough nor a sneeze to be heard the entire time. I bet I didn't touch anything at all either, and everyone just stopped breathing near me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine, I washed my hands. Yep, back. School has started again. We're back. It'd be concerning if it didn't, seeing as it's nearly halfway through the month of September. Then there's college, you know? Time to finish the collab, Manor, Rust, and Gloom. God. A lot of things. So bad. <laughs> should timer and should play this game? I don't know. I feel, I, I feel like I should feel the same way, but I don't for some reason. I don't know why. Go to a trade school. Going where I want to, Brack, okay? And we'll figure that out when we get there. Still another year to go. You work, yeah. It's unfortunate. It doesn't really allow time to do things. I always find found work 
during school a little strange because then like be school and then you have to go to work after school and so then like where is the time you have to complete the your classwork when do you get that time i guess in your day off but like even you don't always have a day off sometimes it's due before that So like you either choose like work or a sport, but then a sport is like more forgiving because then you don't have to work like five hours or however long you work when you also in school. I don't know, it's probably not like a full 12 hour work day, you know, you go to school and then you do full 12 hours. McDonald's is ruthless? Oh yeah, I can imagine. Have fun with hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt in a four-year college where half the classes are basically high school B2. I will deal with the responsibilities, Brian. You do not have to worry about me. Please, thank you. Yeah, we're fine. Why is this part so bad? Dude, I'm gonna have to do two sessions on this because the stupid runoff part, that's just complete luck. I guess I could pause buffer and make it not luck, but like, why, why would I pause buffer when the whole rest of the video is not pause buffer? You leave at 7 and get back at 4.30 tomorrow, then you work 5 to 10? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Dude, you... Wow, yeah, you don't get any time. Because then you have to go back to sleep. For school the next day. Unless you just want to stay up late, I guess. Oh, 3.30. Okay, not as bad as I thought. You get a little bit of time to do something. Like work, school work, or whatever. But it's not much. Do you have a full schedule as well, Zorn, or is or do you have to have like a or can you not have like one class gone? Or like You know what I mean, right? Full schedule as in you have full seven classes or whatever. You have a few study halls, okay. That's good. That's good. At least you have study hall.
It's not gonna be as bad as last year, but work makes up for it. Yeah, I can imagine. A friend who left at like 11 30 a.m. senior year because he had lunch, then three study halls at the end of the day. Wow. Did he even have a class? <laughs> did, he, did he have an actual class? That's that's like wow. You did nothing the entire time? That's like everyone's dream. Like four classes, he just drove home. Wow. Oh, oh, I see. So he at the start of the day is four class, and then just goes home. Okay, I see now. Yeah, that's great. That's wonderful. Yeah, like if you have enough credits, then you you don't even have to take a full schedule of classes. You can just take like a few. That's the only thing that would have motivated you to get your license during high school. Yeah. You're just gonna go home, like, only halfway through the day. You still don't have one? It's kinda rough. I guess you don't really need one until after high school, but like, it's nice to have one, right? You'd be getting your license sooner if you could, but the world is against you in every conceivable way. What does it even mean? Can you not get like in a... Do you have to schedule it? I imagine you'd have to schedule it. Or like, oh, to get a license you have to drive for an amount of time, right? You have to keep your permit and then you have to drive. And then you get your license, right? Is that how it works? You have like 50 hours of driving or something? 100? 200? Long story? Okay. You don't have to, you don't have to share, Ryan. Okay. Maybe co workers 20s and have his? I mean, I guess you don't really need one. Unless you really want to drive places to get places faster, because you can survive like, with just a bike. Like, it's always nice to have that option. Biking the run of snow though, yeah, that's that's really the only thing. Bruh. What? 
I press right. Uh, no, I press left like one frame too late. I should have waited another cycle because I was talking. But I just went for it. Big mistake. Don't choke, you said that a little late there, Breck. You live in a place with public transport, it's not that bad. Yeah, like cities or whatever. Or like if it's bike safe, for the most part. Browser safe. Yeah, I read that mid-run. I don't know why I did that. I should at least stop talking and then continue the sentence after dying or, or making it. But nope, I just had to keep talking through the thing and then I messed up. I was surprisingly close to getting it though. I have to admit, bit impressive. So when you took driving school last year, it was horrendously bad. The guy taught you like nothing. While well, sitting in a quiet room studying this book from 30 years ago and answering the questions at the end. Like those crappy science books you read in the middle school. After you're done, you do nothing. Sometimes he would grace you with videos, which literally just reiterated the book word for word. He also showed you these anti-drug PSA videos that you would have seen in middle school. Wow. That does not sound helpful at all. Oh my god. How are you going to learn anything from just a book? You take driver's ed to learn how to drive, not to read a book. You just go buy that book somewhere and learn the same amount as you did by taking the class. Ridiculous. Dead. Hmm. You just need basic traffic knowledge or practice to be able to be decent driving. Yeah, I can imagine. Lots of practice or practice or whatever. Like being able to know how how to how to do stuff in the car, you know? Work the things. <laughs> the stick. Know the signs. Remember your blinkers. The driving portion of the guy's car did not work. It was so bad you had to floor the gas to go faster and it was crazy slow. The car only drove when you held the pedal down, otherwise it would lose all momentum. What? He also screamed at you for not going fast enough, but the car was the car was not legal. What the hell? He got shut down afterwards but no refund. Damn. When you tried driving after driving school, you nearly crashed immediately because you had no idea that cars don't work like his. Yeah. Wow. Completely scammed. That's rough. I bet you could have bought the book for cheaper than that. I feel like you could have taught yourself the same amount of knowledge that the guy taught you during that entire class. You could probably learn more by someone who actually just like someone you know <laughs> that drives. You probably learned more from them for free. If we're being totally honest here. Like how to work this stick. Or how to do stuff, you know? No hours for your license? Oh, damn. No hours? That's, that's rough. How many hours do you need? That's what I don't know. Is it like 100? 200? I think it's probably around that one, right? The 
depends on the state. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Different states have different driving laws, for sure. After you are 18 in Ohio, you could just take the test. Wow. I mean, you just get, you're just giving a license? Damn. Seems a little too easy, in my opinion. They're just handing licenses out like candy in Ohio over here. Need 70 hours? Oh, that's not that bad. That's not as bad as I thought it was. But yeah, it definitely depends. got set up with another driving school where you can get some hours in. You're only doing the driving portion of it since you have a permit already. Unless there's too many students or something, so instructors there can't find time for you as easily. Wow, they only got to drive twice. It's definitely a rough, rough life. You'll get there eventually. I mean, it's only hours. But, like, yeah. Sucks that it has to be as slow as it is. You failed your first test because you hadn't practiced enough, and you had done all your practice in a minivan, then tried the test in the sedan. Oh, I, I misread that too. I thought I said Brack in Ohio hell. Not Brack is Ohio hell, like a question. Or like... Or like... It, it, I read it more like a, a statement rather than a question. Ohio's fine, everyone on the internet is just not created a kid to give self decoder when they rip on a state for being boring. No, Wyoming. What's there to do in Wyoming? Uh, nothing? Heard so much about Kansas when people live there, there's nothing? Yeah, apart from tornadoes. I know there's tornadoes over there. Dead. Damn it. Midwest was invented in the 19th century to describe the states of Order Northwest or ordinance, a term that became outdated once the nation spread to the Pacific coast. 
Yeah, I could have I could have explained why Ohio is more of the uh, Midwest as well. Because the Midwest is named when the settlers came. And so like the West was just west of all the eastern states. So Midwest was that portion. So now that but now that America is the entire that entire stretch, the Midwest is now more closer to the east. Even though when it was named, Midwest was in the Midwestern area of the land. But now Pacific Northwest exists, so we have two Wests. One East. At least South Dakota's Mount Rushmore, Indiana gotta be the worst. All the states in like that area, like, got there just like nothing to do. What do you do in those areas? Who decides to go to Indiana? <laughs> What's Maine got? Oh yeah, Maine's got... What do you do in Maine? You know what? What do you do in most of the states of America? There's nothing to do. <laughs> Maine is just like, is there. It exists. You know Maine exists. I guess Maine has Portland. Uh, but the less cool Portland, because obviously Portland, Oregon is cooler. Because it's in the west, you know? Because Ryan cares about the east, you know? When he could be on the west side. Never met a person with a Mana accent? Is that what you call people who live in Maine? <laughs> Ohio's seven pro sports teams, the best roller coaster park, gambling, three large cities, most bands come frequently. Or is a great leg, great for camping, doesn't force fires, hurricanes, earthquakes, big tornadoes, poisonous things, bears. Sounds pretty great, honestly. That, if, now that you describe it like that, it sounds pretty great. Stereotypes people don't pronounce R's at the end of words. Oh, nice. I'd say wicked a lot. <laughs> The people are saying any stays boring are probably going and drunk. It's the same bars who sit in their house all day. Well, yeah, I can imagine there's there's always something to do in some place. Like there's always stuff. But by definition, no state is boring because there's always stuff to do, like parks or places to go, monuments, landmarks, cool stuff. But yeah, but also some states are just more boring than others. Like Wyoming.
I'm surprised I made that, honestly. I thought it was gonna bonk, and then just run to the left. What? Dude, that is stupid. <laughs> Eventually, I'll not die in some stupid way and have more attempts at the runoff part just to die there again because it's the only hard part in the second half. And everything else is just a choke. <laughs> I'm not choking or reading this. I already read it. I already choked before reading it, anyway, so it doesn't matter. I wonder if we'll be able to even fulfill the prediction. Am I even going to get past the door today at all? Will it happen? I mean... I don't know. We'll see. I probably would have made it actually. Well, it doesn't matter, I made it still. Keep those cool. And yep. Feels awful to die to this really easy part that I've done every single attempt because this is the first thing you do. I swear I only failed it the second time around. Isn't this riveting? Yes. Such riveting gameplay. It's so exciting. Don't you love just waiting for these munchers every single attempt? Just watch them. They go right, and then they go back left. And they go right again. It's so fun. I think 8 is accurate. I don't know. It feels harder than Cataclysmic Distraught. Maybe. Awesome. I feel like they could swap back to what they were originally. Because, uh, yeah. Cataclysmic, I could be in that one day pretty damn easily. But I just choked a little bit at the end. I was making it to the end quite a lot on the first day, but, like, you can just... Just compare the two. This... I haven't even made it past the runoff part. And then there's still, like, quite a bit of level that I can choke on afterwards. Like, this really does feel harder. Even if maybe I'll get lucky and one-shot everything past the door. Or get lucky here, but it doesn't matter because it feels harder. It's also longer than Cataclysm Distraught, which is also a thing to think about. Yay, I died there again. Oops, sorry, that was me. It was my Windows notification. 
gonna die to the runoff again, because woohoo, it's so fine and so definitely fairly placed in this level. Definitely not like the hardest part, and right at the end, makes it awful to do. No, not at all. Both 8.5, I think Cataclysm is going to spike it, it's very hard. I don't know about that one. Maybe we can go back down. I suppose if anything though, this can go up to 8.5. I didn't have the Florida long COVID or whatever you beat it. I didn't, I, I never had COVID in Florida. Never happened. It was just a cold. Oh, Eventually I'll get lucky. Why does this level have to be designed like this? Where the hardest part of the level is uh, three quarters of the way through. And it takes like a minute and a half to reach there. At least for me. It's maybe about a minute or something. For me anyway, because I'm waiting a lot. Zora and Brutus is just swapping the rating since you already wait one catacle to fill up you won't with that. Let's see. Oh, like we're back when they got swapped. Not recently. That's 2019 Chain Man or 2020. I feel like I'll get results that won't help me. But finding out why it's designed like this. This is definitely one of Shadow has weaker levels. Weaker hard levels, for sure. It's just a level that exists, pretty much. That's all, that's all there is to it, really. I pressed jump. Dude, I did. I did. I swear I didn't. I hate dying there, because it's right before all the easy stuff, which leads me to the runoff. I'm never gonna beat this level. <laughs> oh my god. There's nothing I can even do differently. It's just hoping to get lucky because it's like a, probably a, a two frame window there that works and I can never hit it because I don't know where it is. <laughs> Thank you. 
I could do it if I pause buffered, but I refuse. Refuse the pause buffer. I'm glad that one didn't work because I might have been too slow. I'm, dead. I'm now dead. I yay. No more pause over here, me. Well, I'm not gonna not pause buffer in stages. But I just don't want to pause buffer here to respect the shy male who beat this in like 2020 and had to suffer through the pain of doing that without pausing. I must respect that and also do it without pausing. Nice, that was a horrible way to die there. No one beat this with pausing? Oh, wait, that changes things. <laughs> Hold on, wait, no one beat this with pausing? Really? I could have sworn somebody paused. You mean without pausing? Are you sure? Where did season pause? You didn't pause, you just watched the video, there was at least two. Let's see. You're watching the right level, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't know how you wouldn't be watching the right level, seeing as you can see it right now. Wait, can you- yeah, describe where he paused. I don't remember where he paused. I haven't watched that video forever, also, so... Like, I'm gonna remember. I guess Ryan will be the detective here. Watch the video. Report back where he paused. He paused the double potaboo with the coin. Oh, I see. Not the runoffs <laughs> where, like, I would pause buffer. 
as you could easily pause buffer to get a consistent position with the runoffs, but that's just me. And the muncher? And the mu oh, and the muncher! Wow. That time is not even really that hard. That surprises me. I can understand the poetry thing, because it is kind of suck, but the muncher is not bad. Nice. Screw that up. Like, you just kind of stand on the left side, and then when it, like, at the top, you just run, and you get it pretty much every time. Path to insanity while only possible for him with the one easiest trick. I don't know. C7 does what C7 wants to do, I guess. Also, who cleared this level? Is it. Well, I know Z7 Zorin, but who's the third clear? Or is there four? Did Big Birdo clear it? Or did Morpha clear it? Who cleared this level? Honestly, I have no idea. It could be anyone. Birdo, probably? Okay. It's Birdo. Not Morpha. I guess Morpha beat the other one. Morpha probably beat Cataclysmic Distraught. That sounds familiar. Morpha beating that level. Yep, this level's a struggle. If it were me, I would swap Cataclysm to Distraught and this level. If it was a me-only decision, that's what I would do. Because that level's definitely easier than this one. Like, 100%. But then there's also the problem with, like, this level's not a 9. Not at all. So, like, what do you do? Because apparently Cataclysm Destroy is also the same difficulty as Spike It, which... could probably go down. But, like, I'm not gonna dive into that with Ryan here. Well, Fake Man 5, I... Yes, I mean, there's a hard 8.5 and then an easy 8.5. I guess it's just how it has to be. Ocean Man aggressive abomination being seems weird. Abomination could be 9.5. Or Ocean Man could be 8.5. Yay! God, I hate this time. Quote unquote timing. Um, Here we go. What do I do? What do I do? 
what part of the block do I look at? It's way easier. If you want 9.5, I haven't even played that level, we'll just raise it. Who cares? Who is going to care? If you raise aggressive abominations to 9.5, literally nobody. Stop eating everything so fast because of Paulsa differentiate things. I feel like I've spent longer on this in Ocean Man. Uh, that's because I have. I literally have. I spent longer on this than Victory Road. That was a funny clear. Can we go back to Victory Road times where I beat a 9 in like an hour? It was all fun. I'd go beat that level again instead of play this one, honestly. Like, look how easy that much time is. But why would you ever pause buffer? Why would you ever pause buffer the lunch? That's just that's just being silly. You just feel like being silly. When you pause buffer the lunch. I can do it! I can do that section! I can- I can do that! But I can't do this... ever, cause Shino hates good level design. Or for you shouldn't yet, so you didn't segue it for me, this in like three months, I haven't. Yeah, if you want to know why, I haven't. I'm terrified of that level. Like, absolutely terrifying. Like, that Nye looks like... Here we go. Like it came straight from hell. The Nye, why would you put that Nye in? Dude, what? Jumping off the middle between springs? Why would you ever make that? Go back, here we go, let's do it again, I guess. Hopefully I can get the stupid runoff thing one of these times and beat the level. I swear to god if I die in the ever on the uh, if I die after the door, I'm gonna be sad. It's gonna be sad. Because then the believers will be sad. They'll lost their ten points each. Be depressing. No one wants the believers to lose, apart from the doubters. But there are no doubters, so really nobody wants the believers to lose. You'll lose your 10 Luigi's and you'll cry? I'm sorry. I'll make sure you don't lose them. How many Luigi's do you even have? One hundred twenty-eight thousand? Oh my god. That's a lot of Luigi's. I almost have 100,000 in your channel, right? Almost. 
I'm at like, I think 90,000. I was gonna save it for face cam, but that's, I'm a little far away from that. Saving up one million points sure does take a lot of effort. If 600,000 catch channel, mailing it's unrealistic for a few more years. Yeah, exactly. It takes years to accumulate that many points without gambling. It's a meme reward, you don't have a webcam? And get one for when I redeem it in a few years. You have some time, okay? Millions of chokes? It's not a choke if that part's actually really hard. Because that part is really hard. And it's also the least consistent part in the entire level. It's so inconsistent. It's so difficult and so dumb. I don't like it. Now a choke would be definitely after the door because everything after the door is really hard really easy. And I say that knowing that karma exists. Bad karma. What? Are you kidding me? The Podibu killed me. I didn't even know that could happen. The third Podibu killed me. That is atrociously stupid. Unbelievable. That's literally never happened before. Random thought popped in my head. The next time they do Mario Maker relay races at GDQ, they should <laughs> they should make levels as hard as this in the relay race. <laughs> but then, like randomly, there's a task activated that completes the level. That would be really, really funny. <laughs> Just like, Shoujo gets on the controller, a TAS activates, <laughs> one shots the level, dude that would be so funny. And it, and it just it gets played off like a joke, and it doesn't count. 
as a point. It's like the last level or something. Or like a bonus level. That would be hilarious. But I know it's never gonna happen. That's the thing, it's never gonna happen. No matter how funny that would be. Did you say picks up a triple shot jump level? <laughs> yeah. This so gets pause buffered, right? I actually want that task story to be real. In GDQ. Ah, <laughs> oh, I want it so bad. Assbot guest appearance. In the Mario Maker 2 relay race in the bonus round. Where they're just playing a really hard precision level and then Shoujo pops off and one shots it. That's never happened before. I don't think I've ever dropped onto the Podibu like that. There. I really hate dying like that, because if I were to fail it but late and not get the corner boost, then I would have a second chance to survive, but just doing that, I'm just instantly dead on the first one, and it just sucks. Like, I do, I can do that. I failed the first one, but I got the second one, so I saved it. So now I'm just thinking about like hard level showcases at GDQ from Mario Maker. Like Kitty Man, yeah, they just like, yo, Mario Maker is cool, but you know what's cooler? Hard level. And you know this level's kind of hard. And then they just show it, and everyone's like, wow, that that really was kind of hard. And then everyone claps, and boom, the segment's over. Listening to anything I said is probably agreeable. I was just talking about hard level showcases at GDQ instead of just like regular like races or whatever. Because they do task bot showcases, so why not hard level showcases? You know? They did that once at GDQ with this kind of hard level they passed. Um, but not truly hard levels that people have beaten. Legitimate without tabs. I think that would be a cool thing to show. Since they have done something kind of similar before. It could be like a bonus thing. Like a, you know, how they have bonus rewards for milestones. They should hire me, clearly. GDQ should hire me. The ideas guy.
Wow, that is unbelievably dumb of me to do. Dying on the first one through the spikes? You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, I'm never gonna beat this level because this stupid runoff section. Unless I pause buffer it, I'm not gonna be able to do it. It sticks forever and I lose all memory and practice abilities from when I go practice it. So, like, the practice is useless. This takes so long to get back. It's not like the saw timing, which is like right at the start, which I practice. Same with the boo. That practice helped, because it's right at the start, and get to it fairly often. But like, when you when it comes to practicing things right at the end, unless it's a little short, it's usually not really worth it for me. Like, practicing the last section of Uranium. It's a short level, and that part's really hard. So yes, it's worth it to practice, because I, I will be able to make it there. Pretty often, but, or at least kind of often. But then, like a long level, like this, the ends. Like, why should I bother practicing the end when I'm just gonna lose all muscle memory, all muscle memory, all abilities I had to do the section? It's all gone in like 30 minutes because I can never get back. The middle felt the hardest to you? Which part is exactly the middle? It's kind of hard to place exactly which parts of the level are which, because I don't know where the middle is. You spend most of the time at this top portion, so... <laughs> well... Conveyors? Ryan, there's only one conveyor in this level, and it is denied. What are you talking about? Oh, no, do you mean uranium? Wait, do you mean uran uranium? Wait, I'm just thinking about it, because the middle section of that is conveyors. That didn't feel that bad to me. Yeah, you're right. Okay. I was using that as an example. That part didn't feel that bad to me. It was really short, and it was like, eh. The thwomp got me a few times, but really, it wasn't that bad. I don't think I ever died on the jump to the final practice store. No I, no, I died there, but I didn't die jumping between the saw and the spike, or whatever it was. And overall, that part didn't really feel that bad to me. This... Yeah, short... Sweet. The skull coaster part was harder for me to get used to. Cause like the momentum is really weird on like on the skull coasters and like this green scroll is completely different in the practice store than it is in the real stage. It's like it makes it even more awkward to do. <laughs> The whole part was where most of your deaths went. The jump to the second door. Yeah, I think I only died there a couple times, so that was because I jumped too early. I never jumped too late, or jumped too high or low. It was, it was early a few times, so that was it.
Nope. Oh, come on. Such a brutal place to die. It's so easy to avoid, but I keep doing it. That's the kind of thing that should only happen once, because then I'll learn. Like, don't jump that early, but then I keep jumping that early. Because I'm more afraid of the spike wall than I am of the Potabu, when it should be the other way around, since I've never died to the spike wall. It was also hard to learn, but it became pretty okay. You were amazing, but you were decent. And I cost you at least an hour, though. I think I did an eye once. It wasn't that bad, though. It took you like four hours, but it could have been closer to two and a half or three if you weren't so bad. Oh my. Yeah, and I took under an hour, I believe. No, wait, was it under? I don't remember. It was enough. Was it 40 minutes? I think I took 40 minutes. I want to say 40 minutes. jumped early and late constantly, you cannot land consistently, reacting is basically possible, it's too fast, you died legit 20 plus times in the one jump. Dang. Yeah, uh, the middle section was kind of like my strong suit. Conveyors, I'm super used to conveyors, and like how to manipulate the momentum, exactly how it works, so like that part was really not very hard for me. I played so many conveyor levels, like I'm the conveyor master. Although it is probably mostly because of Dark Flare. Dark Flare really hits you hard with the conveyors. Like, damn. You have to learn the conveyors in that level, or you're getting destroyed. Yeah, I'm seeing our experiences with Uranium were much different from each other. We're like complete opposites. complete opposite. I find, like, hardly any bit difficult at all. It don't take very long, and then you find, like, the entire level is, like, super impossible and stuff. Take, like, four hours. It happens every time. I don't know how it always happens like that, but it does. It's uncanny how many times it's happened like that. Like, I beat a level, like, yep, yeah, that's pretty easy, and then you go in and... I made it like four points above me, I'm like, oh yeah, of course it was hard. I always thought that. I always thought it was that hard. God, I'm about ready to pause go for it. I'm being serious. If I die there like another time, I'm just gonna give in and pause go for it. Like I'm over that part. I'm over it. I would respect it, but oh my god, I've died there way too many times. I just want to get in the door one time. Come on. Your uranium ground is just as bad as your platinum ground. Uh, unfortunately, I have not played that level, so I cannot compare my grind to yours. Because mine is non-existent, as of right now. I pause buffer and watch out the door, you won't be proud. 
It's one thing to pause buff for something that's fun, and it's another thing to pause buff for something that is not fun. I would prefer pause buffing something that's not fun so I can get it more consistently. I'll throw myself at something fun over and over again without pause buffering. Because, like, I like it. But it's, if it's just, ugh, it's so unfun. Like, I don't want to spend long on that. Both were miserable, felt like you simply got lucky after hours of slamming your head against the wall, hoping something finally changes. Oh yeah, for uranium and platinum. Yeah, sometimes they're like that. Sometimes the grinds do that. You're not improving, and then you just randomly beat it. Possible for stuff you don't like, and that's fair. No one wants to play stuff they don't like. I've said it before, I'll say it again, if that part didn't exist, this level would be really, really fun. But instead, it's playing something fun just to play something that's oh so bad. And then back to fun. It's like, you just shove something so unfun in the middle of your really fun level and it completely ruins it. Problem with Platinum is really easy until the end, it's really long. Yeah, I can see the issue of that. It's the 40 seconds reach the hard part? Damn. That is rough. This feels similar, because truly, nothing is as difficult as the runoff part until the runoff part. Hot. I'm getting worse at this level the more I play it. It was at this hard part that you died 50 damn times with a nice hour grind to 6 hours and an aneurysm. Yep, sounds pretty rough. I can only imagine the pain and suffering. But this level is pain and suffering. So maybe I can't. Maybe I don't have to imagine it. Can we go back to Cataclysmic, which is an actually fun level, that didn't have any stupid, really difficult, dumb parts in it? Are you serious right now? <sighs> of 
Of course I die there. Of course I do. Now of all time. But I'm suffering the most on this level. Ugh. Maybe I should have just done Hyrule Warriors instead. I considered it for a moment. I was like, nah, let's just do the easiest one. Big mistake. I should have done the fun one. I am very confident that level's gonna be very fun. Are you kidding me? How did that die? That felt perfect. What? You cannot tell me he was still moving right. <sighs> Fine, game. Tell me that time. Whatever. Should have uploaded? Yeah, I doubt I would have hit the upload today. <laughs> No, I haven't played it in so very long. I haven't played the collab since the last time I streamed the collab. I'm pretty sure, anyway. I'm at 14 hours and uh, my PB is, I think, halfway. <laughs> It's a little over halfway, a little bit. Maybe like a jump or two over halfway. I know I can upload it. I just gotta put in the effort and have the motivation to do it. I think all the motivation will come back. I'm soaring back once I complete the first 1,000 precision levels. Like, I finally completed this goal I've been working towards. Feels good. And then I can go back and start working on something else. I'm gonna share my so skilled making levels that won't give you only those experiences. <laughs> yeah. It's the exact opposite. Shiny Mail somehow makes levels. But I beat really fast, and really easily. Every time. It happens every time. Almost every time, anyway. Really quite strange. Our Warriors are also like this Dash, dash X and Wadi for like 15 hours. Yeah, I hope that doesn't happen to me. Take our time here. We will. No matter how many attempts it takes to get this first one, it doesn't matter. It's honestly making people more nervous the more times I fail the first one. Yep, 
Yep, that's how it goes. You have 15 hours in your level and your PB three jumps of the goal. You one shot too much, and also you don't want to quit the game. Forcing yourself to play one. Three jumps of the goal, damn, I didn't realize your PB was that far. It's further than my PB on my level. <laughs> How's Violet Evergarden? Oh, it's really good. It's really good. I think I've watched uh, about four episodes. I really like it. I really, li I really like how the characters are handled. Like, the character development is just, like, perfect. I don't know how to explain it, it's just, it's just that good. Laser's new- Laser's level's task, I would be in less than 300 attempts. It's not that hard. It wasn't that hard. <laughs> I just beat it, you know? You should have thought about beating it sooner, and then maybe you would've. My level's more consistently difficult, yours only has a few particularly hard jumps in the first half, and the second half is a hundred times harder. Yeah. Mine is consistently harder, like, it's got oh, it's just so many hard jumps, and then stuff, 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 and more stuff. The Nye is ridiculous, 7 hours? Come on, it's a full jump! Fox, the Nye is a full jump! What were you doing? It's a full jump! You just recatch, and then if you jump late enough, it's a full duck jump. That is all the Nye is. The characters are great, even though they they leave, they still feel really real, and like you can actually get attached to them and care about what happens. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, I care for their storylines, even if they only appear for a short amount of time. It's just so believable. Yes, watching anime, Brad. I am. And I like it. I like watching. I don't know, I just feel- I just like animation better than live action. That's just that's how it goes, I guess. I mean, live action is cool and all, but like, I just like animation. <laughs> Wait, the fuck? Wait, is this a real my anime list profile? This is not my profile. <laughs> this is not my profile. <laughs> Although that is pretty damn funny. They've watched zero anime, which makes it funnier. There's literally nothing marked on their account. <laughs> what the hell? Why would they even make it? <laughs> Frank, if you want me to, I will make a my anime list. And then you can... I don't know. Scold me. I don't know. Yell at me. Do something about my weird choice and things to watch.
can judge me. That's that's the word I was looking for, is judge. You can judge me all you want, Brack. That's so my 2018, it's me? Oh my god, you're right! <laughs> yes, the Millions of Mario Twitch account has not been on mine for at least three or four years. It is funny how they overlap like that. Also make one and also convince Morph to actually rate things, you know, to watch. I mean, I would, I would rate things, but trust me, I am the worst person to ask when it comes to which shows you should watch. I'm so bad at judging if a show is good or bad. It is unbelievable how bad I am at doing that. I'll watch something, I'll be like, yeah, that's kind of good. Or, like, that was really good. I, like, I don't think I've ever said, like, yeah, that was that was a bad movie or whatever. I, I haven't seen any anime, they can just watch all your top rated. I watched one anime before I thought ever garden, and I, that was on a plane. <laughs> watched it on the plane. It's pretty good. Was it? I knew you were gonna ask that. Um, I had watched Erased on Netflix. I think I looked and it was like an eight. I think an eight on my anime list. Like, I think the start, the start was really good. Like, I think the last really solid episode, in my opinion, was number nine. And then it was just kind of, eh, and confusing. It was meh and confusing, the last three episodes were. Give me recommendations. Am I gravitated? My gravitator gravitated towards any genres, or would it be down for whatever? I do like. There's a few genres in particular that I do really enjoy. Like, I really like science fiction and mystery, and also I just slice of life. Just it's different, you know. I I just really like that. But I mean, I've watched so little anime, you could probably just say whatever or watch it. We'll see. We'll see about it. Is 
Be like slice of life in action. You ever watch science fiction one? Be like science fiction in general? Yeah. Science fiction is cool. I've read many of science fiction books. Fiction books. I've enjoyed most of them. Books? <laughs> I find it hard to get myself to read, but when I do, I do enjoy it. I have a few books on my shelf that I just haven't touched, because... I don't know why, I just can't keep myself to read anything. I feel like I should just be done with this level right now. I just can't do this runoff section. I'll freestyle pause it next time. We'll see if I get it. If I don't, I'll probably just be done. There aren't a lot of sci-fi anime overall, it seems. Bit of a shame, yeah. But that's okay. There's plenty of other things I enjoy. And as not science fiction. That I would be down for. Like, if the story is good, and the characters are good, I'll probably like it. Like, that that's the minimum you need. <laughs> Imagine being able to retain words and have an exhaustively reread the same paragraph for a couple minutes to actually comprehend the words. <laughs> yeah. Reading is easy when it's quiet. When it's loud, oh my god, it's impossible. You can't read when it's loud. People are talking around you. Stuff, just like what music? I don't know, you're reading somewhere like park bench, like dogs or animals or whatever. How can you focus when it's loud or there's stuff? But like if you're just sitting in a uh, God, if you're just sitting alone in your room, you know, it's quiet. Not. Reading is pretty easy. Easy to focus. So like if you, so like trying to read in the classroom or something, like a plane, a plane is a good place to read because it's quiet. You don't want to be the guy that's like being really loud on the plane. I'm gonna tell you to shut up.
All right, we're gonna freestyle pause it. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Yep, that's about as well as I thought it was gonna go without a strat. I could definitely learn a strat though and make that really consistent. Do I want to? Probably. Like, this part sucks so much. If you're doing anything that's another sound, you cannot take your focus off of that. The sound is the center of your attention, whether you like it or not. Yeah, it's easier to do sound than it is to look at words on a page. It's more of a thing for me is listening to audio, like an audiobook or a podcast or something like that. I can't do it. It's impossible for me to follow along. Like, I'll listen. Words are going through. If I lose it for a second, it's gone. Like, I don't know what the hell is happening. Or what's being talked about. Like, I just, I can't with audio stuff. I can do video. And I can do words on a page. I cannot do audio. That's it. And I'm I'm gonna be done this level. This stupid re this stupid runoff thing has killed me way too many times. Right now, oh my god. I'm done with that. <sighs> Maybe next time. I think I can get it next time. Because I think I'm just gonna go with the pause buffer. I know I said I wasn't going to, but like... Oh my god, it's... That part is so bad. I really don't like it. So I'm just gonna learn the strats. And go for it like that. And I think it'll be much more consistent. But that also means... The prediction has to be called off since I never made it past the door. So, I guess you get your 10 points back, Ryan. Good job. Look at sending a Shyman. <laughs> Dude, Shyman does not care. He, he probably already knows that part sucks. <laughs> He's already got tons of fun levels. This is just a weak entry in his hard levels. He's got so many other fun ones. Clad and Clinton Distraught is a banger. Gleaming Void is a banger. Adventure's End is literally my favorite level in the game. Leviathan is really fun. Melissa Chamber's got nothing on any of those levels. Yeah, he knows this level sucks, exactly. <laughs> Then he sends the crime down people pause. Oh, right, the pausing part. <laughs> the pausing part. That's, yeah, that's the part there. Yeah, I think he's used to it at this point. The, the main thing is path to insanity. I promised that I wasn't going to pause on that level, and I'm going to stick to that promise. Also, hold on. Nice, Noah. Nice. Will not miss that. I will do Path to Sanity without pausing, and that is a promise. Never promised anything for Melissa's Chamber. You have some deal if you no pause that? I don't think so. I just said I was going to do it. So I'm going to do it. There is no deal. It was just me saying, yep, I'm going to do that. I, I'll, I think I'll also be the first person. With Shy Meow, who will beat that level without pausing. Because Z7 did it once, and of course everyone else did it. I think that it will be more fun, though, as well. That's the thing. And doesn't have stupid runoff garbage like this level. Like, come on. It's, it's well designed for the most part, and then it's completely ruined by the runoffs. Like, come on. It's just way too brutal. You'll say GG a lot of times if I do that? Is my deal? Alright. That's a deal. Is there even anyone to raid right now? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna raid. Who is even online? 
host. Just let him know, Vid. Do you think that it's Bardo's? Yeah, of course Bardo chose it. Bardo paused. There's no doubt. Easily just one life? Holy crap. We can raid Beasley. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll raid Beasley. Let's go. Wait, is it just Beasley or does it have an does he have an underscore in his name? I think it's just Beasley. I mean I guess I'll find out. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Let's go. We're raiding Beasley. Let's let's go. Beasley's a pretty cool guy. I say he's pretty cool. I'll try okay. For this level, I'll, I'll try not to go like four months without playing the level. I'll see if I can get it next week. I'll, I'll try Saturday. I think I can do Saturday. And come back and Paul um, beat this level. I think I can do that. Maybe if there's time a different day, I'll try that as well. But Saturday, I can probably do it. Alright, well, thanks everyone for stopping by and sticking around. And sticking through my complaining about the one part of the level that's really bad. Apologies, but I can't just not complain about it. Alright, well, later.